my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what two things causes the nebula gases to burn. Generally when we mean something is burning, it means that it's going through the fusion process. And the fusion process is, in, is the nuclear process which we take a lighter element, combine it with more lighter elements and make a heavier element. Uh, one of the simple examples is like the one in our sun. We take four hydrogen atoms and make one helium atom. And this is what's happening. So they take all the lighter elements, combine them together and make a heavier element. So first let's talk about a nebula. Um, a nebula is a cloud of gas. So the cloud of gas itself is not going to actually burn. But inside a nebula, there are stars, and there are stars that are forming, and there are a lot of protostars. So in these early ages of the stars, which are the ones that are actually going to burn, um, there are two things that are very important. And the two important things for a nuclear process is temperature and pressure. So first, the protostar must have collected enough gases from the nebula to actually become hot enough and have high, um, high pressures in order to combine these elements. So the two things are pressure and temperature. Now, how far can a star take up uh, a nuclear, uh, nuclear process? So let's talk about the fusion shell. So we can turn hydrogen into helium we can turn helium into carbon. After that, we have neon. After neon, we have magnesium. And then after magnesium, we have oxygen. And then after oxygen, we have silicon. And then after silicon, we have iron. And that's it. We cannot fuse anything past heavier than iron. And the reason is that a star is trying to burn things in order to create energy. Now, uh, nuclear binding iron together will take the star actually to lose energy because it has to put so much energy into combining these really heavy elements in order to make heavier elements. And at that point, the star will be eventually be losing energy. So a star no longer fuses anything after an iron core. My name is Eileen Pires, and I'm an astrophysicist. And this is what two things are important in order for a star to burn.